Hi, I'm Jennifer Griffin. I'm a mother of four, uh, full-time, and on in my free time, I create art and photography. So. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, have my hands on many things uh, because I get bored. I, I, I'll start a project uh, and then move to something else because I, I'm just kind of tired of looking at the same thing. And I also, to be able to do this kind of stuff, I, there has to be funds coming from somewhere. So that's why I do some of my other um, kind of artsy, craftsy things um, to help pay for this type of stuff. Pay for fabric, pay for rhinestones, pay for, you know, the things that uh, are, to create the things that are close to my heart or in my heart. I, I gotta have funds to do that. So um, that's, that's kind of why I do so, so many things. Literally everything I do, I'm self-taught. Self okay. mm -hmm. Photography, self-taught, costuming. My mom did teach me to sew when I was little and she made all of our Halloween costumes growing up and I think that probably was the seed that was planted. Yeah. And being artsy runs in my family. Um, she does oil paintings and sewing and when I was a child made all of my clothes. Um, her father was a musician, a woodworker, a architect. So that kind of thing just kind of runs in the family. So my dad also did photography. Um, so I just, I think it just comes, I come by naturally, genetically, I guess. I started working very young at 14 and um, quickly realized that corporate was not a thing for me. Um, and then quickly realized I couldn't afford the school, the art school I wanted to go to. So I, kind of just did whatever job uh, came along and uh, be, uh, working in a hair salon actually fell in my lap. And um, so I started to apprentice to do um, hair. Then I got engaged um, and realized I didn't have the two years to wait to get my license to make money. So I did nails instead. And so I did that. And then on the side, I did interior design. I worked for a designer uh, for two years and learned a ton business-wise as well as just how the business works. And then she moved her business uh, far away where I couldn't follow. And I just picked up and did my own and had my did interior design on my own in Kennesaw, Ackworth, and Woodstock. Um, it was probably about 20 years ago. Uh, and then I started having babies and everything was on pause <laughs> until about five years ago. After my fourth child was born, I needed something uh, to express. I had severe postpartum depression and I needed something. And at the time, my middle daughter was struggling herself. She was five and she was struggling herself. And we both were just sort of butting heads and just really, we both were just struggling with separate things, but we just, ha we were just clashing. And so I said, you know what, let's, uh, actually, I don't even know what, caused me to create this this character for her to be. Um, it, it was like the personification of, of her, of who she wanted to be. And so um, I created this elf character and created this costume, um, patterned it, learned, that's how I learned how to pattern, <laughs> um, just because I had never done that before. And um, it was amazing. And I, want, I was like, oh, I wanna do this again with these other things. Cause I just, I, I felt so good after doing it, it helped her. Um, she loved doing it, she loved pretending. Um, and then seeing her images just really um, helped her look beyond um, her struggle, how she felt um, that there was more than just her struggle to, to be thankful for, to look at um, and so I've been photographing her ever since. <laughs> so that kind of started it really because I said, oh, I need some more funds because we were broke at the time. And so I sold the costume to pay for the next session that I wanted to do. Um, and then it just kind of grew and snowballed from there. I was already making stuff and I already had an Etsy shop, but I was making little boys bow ties and, and hair bows that matched for like weddings and things. And I hated it, hated it, but that's, it was a product that was selling. It wasn't art, it was just handmade whatevers. <laughs> I was doing it because I felt like that's what would sell and that was what I was being advised to do, to use some of the skills I had to create something to cause a, an income to come in. Um, because leaving my kids in daycare just financially wasn't an option. I would never make enough money to leave all four of them in daycare 
so I could work. Um, you know, so being a entrepreneur was really the only option for me because I could be at home with my kids and do it at the same time. But it wasn't fulfilling emotionally for me. That's hence the costume. And then doing that one photo session just grew into this. So, and I realized I love doing this. I love creating this. It's a, it's an excellent creative outlet and I can speak and say so much in an image that I could never say with words. Uh, the particular genre I work in, I would consider fantasy or high fantasy specifically. Um, things along the lines of Lord of the Rings, Narnia, that kind of thing. I mean, in the fantasy genre, there's different genres, like with all things, different aesthetics, but specifically high fantasy. If I have a vision for something, so my whole world inspires me, my kids inspire me, music and nature are two huge influences in, in my work. Um, you'll see, I use a ton of natural things, moss, um, uh, actual tree bark, actual twigs. Like I'll go in my backyard and I'll collect that stuff and process it. You know, if I could, I'd be barefoot living out in the woods. That's how I would live my life. Um, I also repurpose. I, I try to use at least 80% repurposed things. Um, any particular piece, like this piece here, every bit of this fabric is repurposed. I didn't buy any of this. These used to be curtains. <laughs> um, all of this are scrap material and just pieces of things found. Um, my studio, I, I have things organized because I do have so much junk, <laughs> literal junk that I reuse in things. Um, vintage jewelry, all that stuff. So I, I look at what it is I want to create, whether it, like I drew, I sketched this out. When this is done, um, I have a drawing of what I did of it and then the finished piece. Um, sometimes it takes a couple years to, to finish an entire vision. Um, just because of life. Um, and then other things, I just randomly am like, oh look, this would make an awesome headpiece or this would be a great, like this. I, I sculpted this face and was like, oh, that'd make an awesome pendant. So I made a pendant and it just was missing something. So I said, oh look, let's do this. And it became this whole entire uh, shoulder armor. I mean, it's, the, it's two pieces. It's the neck piece and the shoulder pieces. And then I created a crown. So the crown came last though, just because it needed, the model needed to have a, a crowning piece. Um, so sometimes it's random and happenstance and sometimes it's planned and thought for a purpose and a, because I'm trying to tell a story. Um, the yellow headdress and the yellow gown that I that I photographed yesterday had a purpose and I had a specific model in mind and I knew exactly in my I had a vision of what I wanted it to turn out like and it totally turned out I I, I was taken aback at just how perfectly it turned out because it in real life looked like what I had envisioned in my head but not everything is like that some things are literally random